Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Shores of Hazeron episode 15 and I'm glad to have you guys back. Sorry it took so long for me to get another one of these episodes out but I was trying to figure out how to actually colonize on the moon as well as practicing my spaceship flying capability so I didn't look like a complete asshole as I was flying around uh, on camera. I wanted to have a general understanding of what was going on and what I was doing. And so, uh, being that it's been quite a while since we've last recorded, we do have a lot to get done today. Uh, very busy day indeed. And I think you guys are going to be excited for what's going to come up in the next few episodes because we're going to be trying to get a rocket into space, which we pretty much already have. But uh, we want to go explore that moon that was nearby in our system, uh, as well as set up a moon base and then hopefully potentially set up our own little ship kind of like this one here that's been parked here for quite some time uh, and hopefully get one set up like that or something similar to that design and so right now the most important thing is taking an expedition to the moon because we want to make sure that the moon has all of the materials we actually need to produce ourselves uh, massive I guess star cruisers or you call them like a I mean these are basically rockets, so that's more like a spaceship, essentially. But we want to make sure it has all the materials that we need to produce that. And before I take off, I'll just kind of go over what those materials are. So if I click on this and use the drop down, we need aluminum and then luminite. Now, aluminite is not so much, but aluminum, uh, eh, aluminum is definitely a massive. Uh, Yes, we definitely need aluminum, and then the aluminite. I think I'm not sure what aluminite is actually for. Aluminite, aluminum, aluminite. Uh, it's different things. I know that. I'm not sure if it's here. I guess I can't see right now. Hmm. Well, either way, I know that they're both pretty important, but that um, alludium is the most important out of both the resources. All right, and so the sun is rising, but it really doesn't matter because we're about to get into space anyway, so let's do it. I've really honed my uh, rocket skills, and I'll kind of explain what I'm doing as I go to pilot through, but it's really just been uh, through trial and error that I've managed to do this. I've crashed plenty of rockets trying to figure all this out, but I do have it figured out now. Uh, I'm pretty excited to do this. So we're back up inside the rocket here, and we're just going to blast straight off through the atmosphere. So we're going to go straight for top speed. And here we go, just blasting right off, busting right through the atmosphere like it's nothing. And just like that, we're already out into space. And there we are, leaving the planet behind. So now the most important step is to find the planet that we want to go to. Where is the moon? It's a just course here. I know it's around here somewhere. It's Okay, we're going to slow down a little bit. Let's see if I can actually find it. And potentially not fly into the sun. Oh, it's behind us. I see the rings. Okay, let's turn around. There it is. Alright, let's adjust our heading here. So we've got the planet over there in the distance. Now it's going to be kind of tricky, but uh, it's hard for me to kind of explain because the, the ship does kind of fly like as if you're pretty much in a spaceship simulator. So it is different to that regard. But I'm basically using the, uh, the WASD keys to adjust my turning. I'm using the Z and C key for my uh, roll. And then I'm using the space bar as kind of like a break. And the Q and Q here is kind of like it helps basically set your, it helps with your, uh, your heading. So it keeps you kind of straight and true. So if you're drifting to the right or drifting to the left, Q will kind of uh, activate your thrusters and will set you on a straight course. And you can actually view that. So it, here's our speed right now. If I press space, you'll see that start. Uh, braking. I need to be out of this. Actually, if you press space there, you see that going down. And then this right here is kind of like our heading. So if I press Q, you'll see that kind of line up. 
and that'll give us a true zero, which means we're going exactly on course, just like that. Right here's course, and then we'll start drifting a little bit because of gravitational pulls and whatnot. I believe the game does account for physics uh, pretty heavily, so could be wrong about that. Probably wrong about that. But as you can see, we've got a planet right here, which has a nice uh, asteroid field around it. I'm not sure if the asteroid field is just cosmetic or if it actually has any uh, traits. I haven't really checked it out. Well, I haven't. I've got to get over here and actually check any of this out. But I'm not entirely sure if there's actually anything you can do with the asteroids, if they've got special minerals you can mine or whatnot. And then we've got the planet over there, which would be interesting to check out later down the road. But the moon is the prize right there. So it's very important that we get to that moon. Kind of drifting a little bit let's set our course there and once we've got that set let's bump our speed up and get moving along now i want to make sure that i keep adjusting the speed because these planets will creep up on me uh fairly quickly once i get up into the 4000 5000 range they'll just fly right up on me and it's hard sometimes to slow down uh quickly and you will come into the problem of crashing into the side of the planet it's also good to note that planets with an atmosphere like this planet here or our own planet if you enter the atmosphere going too quickly you will burn up and crash and die i'm not entirely sure what the speed is i think somebody mentioned 2000 so if you're going about 2000 you will burn up and die i may or may not have already had that situation trying to re-enter my home planet previously all right, so we're using the brake to kind of keep ourselves moving somewhat slow. I don't want to go flying into this too quickly. I am trying to keep the heading as straight as possible, even though I keep adjusting the keys here. There we go. Okay, we're getting up into the 5,000s. We're going to slow down a little bit because we are coming up on the planet now. We're about to pass the asteroid ring here. It does look more like it's aesthetic or uh, cosmetic, I think is what I'm trying to say. Um, it doesn't really look like it's something I can land on. Still looks really cool though. Okay, we're coming in on the planet. We need to start focusing a little bit more on that. It is going to be kind of tricky. So now, to land your spaceship, you don't actually have to land it, you know, upside down or whatever. Or land it right side up, I guess is what I'm trying to say. You can land it upside down. Basically, however you land the spaceship. Oh, we're coming in quick. We're coming in quick. Oh, no, 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 no. What happened? I think we just bounced off the moon. Don't really know where it went. Oh, there it is. Okay, we must have missed it somehow. Or maybe we bounced off it because it doesn't have an atmosphere. I'm not entirely sure how that worked. Let's realign ourselves so it looks like we got lucky there that was definitely lucky I was paying more attention to the things around me and explaining the landing procedures and not really paying attention to the speed or anything okay let's try this one more time so we're coming back in I'm gonna keep operating the brake here keep lining up our heading okay we're coming in a little too quick again but that's alright I've got plenty of time to slow down this time here we go all right we're gonna start actually letting off on the engines there we go just like that I'm going to heading back up. Now, I want to land on this bright side here, actually. So, let's adjust our heading to kind of take us this way. Right past that. I want to land right here on the... on the. I don't want to land on the dark side of the moon because I would very much like to be able to see. All right. Here we go. Slowing down a little bit. We're going to take our heading. And we're just going to kind of drift around the planet. Look at that crater up there. Something slammed into this that was massive a long time ago. All right, letting off on the brake a little bit. Engines are powered down, so we're perfectly fine. I'm glad we didn't crash earlier. That would have been really upsetting. We are almost halfway through on fuel, so something to keep in mind. I don't want to waste too much time. All right, here we go. We're coming into the moon. You got to be very careful. This is a very sensitive portion here. I got to make sure I operate the brake perfectly where I don't come in too quickly and crash, but I also need to make sure I adjust the speed So that way I don't slow down and fall from the sky. Okay, here we go. We're taking the brake on now. You'll see what I mean in a second by landing right side up. So it'll automatically land me right side up as soon as I get in here. Okay, we're coming in. I'm going to adjust my heading. I want to land right here. All right, we're hovering. Coming in again. Okay, we're coming for a straight drop. 
adjusting the brake some more, trying to keep that low. The brake will make me, will basically help me just hover for the most part. So it's kind of like a afterburner right before you hit the ground. Adjusting heading again. There we go. All right, heading's not really into an effect anymore, as you can see. And here we come, coming in for landing. And there we go. Oop. Got to turn the engine down a little bit. Just like that, we'll kind of gently fall back to the surface. Not a big deal at all. Sometimes if you land with the engines all the way up, it'll try to take you off again. And there we go. So we're on the moon. We did it. Uh, almost had a little bit of an accident there, but we, we made it. We made it to the moon. And, and that is absolutely awesome. So we're going to power our engines down uh, to save ourselves a fuel. And let's hop outside the aircraft or the spaceship, the rocket, whatever you want to call it. Let's hop outside the rocket here and see what we've got. So here we are on the moon. One thing to keep in mind, you definitely want to make sure that your, and I've got this, I had the screen open the whole time, didn't I? Um, you want to make sure that your visor is closed. I should have mentioned that before I hopped out. I did open, uh, close my own visor. If you click it, I believe you can, oh, that was close. Yeah, so if you just right click that there, you'll open it up and then I started suffocating to death. Luckily, I closed it, so it wasn't an issue. But here we are. So what do we've got over here? And as you can see, gravity is definitely very, very different on the moon. Uh, as expected. Without an atmosphere, we're just kind of flying all over the place. Very interesting. Okay, so now the big thing is seeing what kind of resources we've got on here. So let's go up. And here we are. So it looks like we do have alludium on the planet. That's right. I said that correct. Or is it luminite? I always forget which one's which. And then I've always got to go into here and check. Um, yeah, alludium. So we do have alludium. It's these uh, little kind of blue squiggly antennas maybe looking. And then luminite's the next thing I want to see if we have. Now, something to keep in mind, if you actually cycle through these, you'll notice that the alludium doesn't come up anymore. That's because alludium is treated a lot like stone. So it's pretty much everywhere. So if you keep cycling through, and then you'll eventually hit it. And there it is. Along with the stone, you also see the alludium. Now, Luminite does not act that way. Luminite is treated like a rare resource like minerals or radioactives or such. I'm going to call them rare resources because they they don't appear as often as the other resources. Oop, didn't mean to move the screen like that. I know that might have been confusing. Okay, so I don't see any luminite. It's not looking too well right now. Um, it's possible that there is some around here. I will try to find some so that I can build near it. But if there is none, then I think that's pretty much just going to be, you know, it is what it is. moving around a little bit. I do want to kind of discover or move around this whole area and just get a good feel for what's up here. Lots of minerals, which is good. Lots of gems, it looks like, right? Is that what I'm seeing? Nope, just minerals. Minerals is good, though. Minerals is useful. We definitely don't have as many minerals on my home planet as I would like. So to be able to harness them from the moon will not be an issue. Okay, my stamina is low, so I'm going to let that rebuild up a little bit. There is some gems there. Okay, so there is gems on this planet. Uh, Luminite is looking like a no-go. Uh, very good indeed, though. So we're going to have to set up a space base up here if we actually want to harness the resources. And that's what took me so long to record this episode because I was actually trying to figure out how to go about doing that. So kind of asked on the forums and then uh, after I got a few good responses on the forums, which thank you guys for that, by the way, I really appreciate it. Uh, once I got those responses in the forums, oh, there it is. Look at that. Alludium. All right, sweet. So we do have, uh, or not alludium, uh, luminite. I'm going to get these two mixed up a lot. So alludium and luminite. So we do have luminite here on the planet. Uh, over here, there's some. I would like it if we had maybe a group of like two of them maybe. Is that possible? Can I find two of them at least? Yeah, so like I was saying, I do apologize that it took so long. I was trying to get the answer to my questions and I did get it. So I pulled up the wiki page that somebody suggested, which was an older wiki page, but it does work. And that gives me the option to... Uh, find out all the material materials I need to build a moon base because you need to bring materials up here if you want to build it. You can't necessarily just build it because uh, there's a, some things I need. I need an airport and I need a broker so I can actually import resources onto the moon. 
and use those resources to build other buildings. Okay, let's start heading back to our spaceship. Uh, we did find some luminite, which is good. So wherever the luminite is, is where I'll have to build. It looks like that could be the only resource. I'm sure there's more on the moon. I'm sure if I go, if I walked around the entire moon, I would find some, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to spend my entire time walking around the entire moon. So we're just going to make a beeline right back to the spaceship. We've got to go back to Earth. So this will be a little bit of a longer episode just because I wanted to come to the moon and I wanted to survey it and then I want to head back to Earth and grab the materials to actually build the space base. Uh, it might seem like a somewhat un... For some of you who are used to playing the game, it, it seems like it might not be a very eventful episode. But for those of you who are watching this for the first time, this is pretty damn awesome. Because I'm experiencing it for the first time and I'm extremely happy right now. <laughs> this is very, very cool uh, to just be able to do this. I guess alludium and luminite would be considered Newtonium elements. Elements that don't actually exist on Earth. Um, elements that we don't actually know exist yet. Uh, Newtonium elements are basically the, if I had to go into science-y mode, uh, are basically the the idea that the universe is so large that it's impossible. We have to assume, in theory, that there's other elements out there that we haven't discovered on Earth. And so luminite and alludium would probably be considered, or would be considered, not probably, they would be considered uh, Newtonium elements. So that is our planet, I believe, in the distance, because if we're on the light side of the moon, then the planet should be behind us. Is that how that works? So that should be our planet right there. Um, we do have enough fuel, so let's rocket this thing up or, and get into space like so. And we're just going to blast right off here and immediately start adjusting our heading to head back to our home planet. We're going to reach speed fairly quickly. I want to avoid this asteroid field because I honestly don't know. Um, I believe, judging by the looks of it, I could slam into it. Yeah, it looks like it's just... Uh, for cosmetic appearance. It's not actually something I can mine resources off of, but still very, very cool. Okay, we gotta adjust our heading here because we are drifting a little too close for this, to the sun. You will burn up and die if you hit the sun, so something to keep in mind. We're coming into our planet very, very, very quickly. I'm gonna start braking now because it does take a while to break and keep that heading true. Once I see the lines for our capital, I will... There we go, and we'll start adjusting our heading to take us around the planet coming in very quickly but that's all right because we're going to shoot right past it and keep breaking here and i'm actually going to put ourselves in reverse okay we're going to definitely overshoot this but that's all right i am still getting the hang of this all and i think i'll have a way better understanding i mean once i actually get into the uh, starships, it's going to be a whole different story because those fly completely differently than rocket ships. Those are actually extremely um, maneuverable in more ways than one. Okay, there we go. We're going to start moving forward now. Now I can actually get a very good heading. There we go. Speed's increasing. I'll let it get to about 500. Before I actually start really interfering. Maybe a little more than that. Nope, there we go. We're moving pretty considerably forward. I'm actually going to bump up the speed just a little bit. Actually, maybe hit a thousand. We can enter the atmosphere at a thousand. That's not an issue. There we go. All right, we're coming in now. We're going to start braking. Stay around 2,000. I'm actually going to come at the planet at somewhat of an angle. I'm just kind of explaining what I'm doing so that way for anybody that goes to rocket these for the first time, they can kind of get an idea of how at least I'm able to land it. I'm sure there's better ways to do this, but this seems to be working for me pretty well. So I'm going to continue it. We'll line ourselves right up with the capital there. We're going to kind of have to take a dive here to get down in there, but we're going to start breaking now. Here we go. So we're getting ready to enter the atmosphere. I don't want to be going too slow, but I don't want to be going too fast. You can burn up in the atmosphere. If you're going too slow, you will burn up. 
And if you're going too fast, you will burn up. So it's like reaching a perfect... I don't know actually what the burn up speed is for entering, but here we go. Hopefully, we gotta enter it kinda head on too. Here we go, through the atmosphere, all right. That's kinda tricky, but we managed to make that work. Let's straighten ourselves out here. The capital is right here below us somewhere. Get through the cloud, there it is, right there through the clouds. Here we are at the capital, we're coming in. We're gonna land it right in front of our hangar over here, so let's bring it in. Start slowing our engines down a little bit, but not too much because we don't want to drop out of the sky. There we go. Gently, gently. Here we go. Beautiful. Just coming right in. All right. Ah, uh, there we go. So that was a little rough, but that's okay. We didn't do any damage to the ship, which means it was technically a pretty good landing. And uh, we'll actually press K to fuel ourselves up, and we will shut the engines off completely and hop on out. And that is absolutely awesome. So we did it. We made it all the way to the moon. We surveyed to see what kind of materials we've got. We know that we have the capabilities of building a moon base on there. We have all the materials on the moon that we need uh, to build a moon base. And so that's going to be what we're going to do next episode. But we are out of time for this one. I know it was somewhat uneventful for those of you who play the game a lot. But for those of you who are seeing this for the first time, I hope that was just as exciting for you as it was for me. I think that is absolutely awesome. I really can't wait to get a starship of our own because it's going to be absolutely fantastic. There's Dean 2 there. It looks like he's here to visit us <laughs> right at the end of the episode too. So I hope you guys did enjoy this and I'll see you next time.